What's up guys, it's Crayfish Obsession here, back for another informational crayfish video. Uh, today we'll be talking about crayfish plague, its history, how it spread, and how it can affect you, and keeping them, and also using them as bait, and eating them, etc. So a lot of you might ask, what even is crayfish plague? So crayfish plague is a water mold that goes by the scientific name Aphanomyces astici, and uh, this basically kills crayfish that get infected by it. And it usually kills crayfish within a few weeks of being infected by the spores. Now let's talk about its history. Crayfish plague first arrived in Europe, um, on a sh probably from a ship from America, carrying imported crayfish or ballast water from North America. So by 1860, crayfish plague had spread all over Europe, where it was eventually discovered in Sweden in, during 1907. Um, and from there on until 1987, it was discovered in Spain, Norway, Great Britain, Turkey, and in Ireland. Now, by, by this time, crayfish plague was already decimating the European crayfish population of noble crayfish. Uh, scientific name would be Asticus Asticus. So basically what happens uh, is that um, in Sweden, the Asticus fisheries realize that their crayfish are dying due to crayfish plague. Now, we have to understand that at this point in time, no one really knew where crayfish plague came from. So they didn't know that it came from American crayfish. So what they ended up doing was to boost the crayfish fisheries in Europe, they brought over American signal crayfish and they imported them into Europe to help with the Asticus fisheries. And they didn't know that it was the American crayfish who actually carried this plague. And now it is rampaging all over Europe, killing a lot of noble crayfish and even in the danube river in france they're probably gonna go extinct in that river uh the asticus of course because they're just com being completely overrun by american signal crayfish and plus with more um with more globalization now red swamp crayfish have been introduced and uh it's not really helping and this water mold is usually transmitted from uh, the water. So the spores will um, come out uh, into the water and it will infect other crayfish that way. Now, American crayfish actually have an immunity to the water mold. So they aren't affected at all by the water mold. And the spores of the water mold are actually fairly short term. If all the infected crayfish die, and all the carriers are removed from the waterways, the spores will actually go away after 10 to 14 days. So if, if uh, all the infected crayfish and all the carriers are removed from the waterway, the crayfish plague will go away. So it could be reversible, but there would be some, there would be a need for some serious action. Now the spores uh, are also really sensitive to temperature. So that's why it's recommended to freeze your bait if you're using crayfish or anything from a river uh, as bait. And it's always a good idea to use the same bait that you get from the lake to fish in that same lake. So that way you're not cross-contaminating or uh, spreading any kind of crayfish plague to uh, any uninfected waters. Now, if you're keeping crayfish yourself, keeping them in tanks um i'd recommend keeping any sort of north american crayfish um completely separate from any of the other non-north american crayfish and that would also mean using different nets different tools and of course just making sure nothing is cross contaminating uh that way you can always be sure that your crayfish are not spreading crayfish plague into your own tanks and killing your uh, your colorful um, Australian or European crayfish. And you also want to keep an eye out this when you go to pet stores and stuff. 
I have a local fish store and they don't really know anything about crayfish plague and they basically keep all the crayfish together um, and that's why I don't buy anything from them because you can't just put crayfish together from two different continents and expect them to live happily because crayfish plague exists so you really want to be careful and a lot of people don't know about this and it's a really easy way to lose your crayfish so make sure you completely use two different complete setups for your North American crayfish or just American crayfish in general and your non-American crayfish now if you think a crayfish has come down with um, with crayfish plague there are some telltale signs but the problem with crayfish plague is it's really hard to detect during the early stages and usually by the time you see the um, by the time you see the symptoms they're already gone they're basically going to die so the best th the best thing you can do is just to euthanize the crayfish so that way its dead body can't um, can't uh, spread any more of the spores and that way you can save your waterway and sometimes your crayfish can actually just die but before any uh, real symptoms can show but a lot of the symptoms for crayfish plague is um, if you flip the tail over it might look more white or brownish red and also because the spores actually have uh, neurotoxins so this can actually make your crayfish become really active during the day whereas crayfish are almost always nocturnal so that's also a good sign but uh for the behavioral part uh don't always take that as having crayfish plague and also remember that if you have a north american crayfish it's really hard for it to die from crayfish plague this really only applies to like cherax or camboroides or uh, asticus those kind of crayfish that will really be affected and all those non-american crayfish really have no immunity even after 150 years in Europe there's been no signs of immunity in the Asticus uh, population so I think eventually Asticus will become really rare uh, for now the best you can do if you live in Europe is uh, to try to remove invasive species and be safe around your fishing bait and also if you spot any of those symptoms in your crayfish it's becoming slower and like less active tail becoming white brown red it's also acting weird the best thing you can do it really at this point is to euthanize it there is really is no medication you can give to your crayfish it's already gone at that point well that was a depressing ending but um yeah so that was my video on um on crayfish plague if you liked it please uh hit that like button and subscribe all right well, we'll, well we will see you in the next one i stutter <laughs>